Hi, this is Nick Haraz of Creative 111 here with Boris Effects to give you some tips and tricks for working with Sapphire inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. I have my Premiere Pro sequence open right now. We're gonna take a look at S Grunge and how to work with it effectively. You can take S Grunge and place it on any clip in your Premiere Pro timeline. It'll be available in the Effects tab right under the Sapphire Render category. And once you've applied it to a clip, you can press Shift five to go to your effect controls. From here, I would recommend checking out one of the handy 28 presets that are available for S Grunge to give you a starting place, just in a sense for what you can do with this incredible texture-based effect. Some of these effects, as you can see by their thumbnails, will obscure the entire image, while other effects will either be on the border or blend in with the image underneath. I'm gonna to choose to load the rusted out inside of Premiere Pro. And the only problem I see right now is that the texture is blocking my point of focus, which happens to be the guitarist. So what I'm gonna do is under S grunge, I'm gonna to head to the frame amount and start to increase it. And you'll see that by increasing it, what happens is it gets shifted or the grunge effect gets shifted to the edges of the frame, which is exactly what I'm looking for. I can also play around with the value here of the frame center, as well as the radius to create some interesting texture-based effects, pretty much just on the outskirts of my singer. Now, the S grunge is made of a series of stamps three in particular you have up to, but to get a real good sense for how to work with S Grunge, I would suggest just working with stamp one and making stamp two and stamp three set to none. And this will just give you a chance to work with one texture at a time. Besides this and the overall possibilities of working with S Grunge, think about using it to work with text as well in Premiere Pro. I'm gonna turn off my video layer and turn on a text file. I'm gonna place S Grunge onto my text. The first thing I'm going to do is use my video to track, which has my text as a mat, and then follow that up by going to the very bottom to make sure that I'm going to crop the grunge to the mat, which happens to be my text. And you'll see here that it's limited to the actual text file. And if I go up inside of Premiere Pro and decide to scale up the image overall, you'll notice here that that texture travels with it. And there are some possibilities of working with S Grunge inside of Premiere Pro. I would recommend you guys find out for yourself by clicking on the link above and downloading a free trial of Sapphire for Premiere Pro today. Check out Boris Effect on all the social media pages, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. I'm Nick Karaz. Thanks for watching.